Okay guys, six minutes abs blaster. So basically, this session you could do, you can add it on at the end of any session. You want to get an extra bit of work in, no matter if you're doing a full body session, lower body session, just a upper body session in the gym, and you just want to get an extra bit of work in your core, these six minutes are definitely going to pack a punch. Um, it's just pretty much an all out assault on our core muscles from different angles. So some work more sides, work more, more front, lower back as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through six exercises really quick. Then it's going to be, we're going to go for two rounds on them, no breaks. 30 seconds on, straight into the next exercise, 30 seconds. So obviously, in my mats, it's halfway decent. That takes a three minutes for one round, straight into that second round, no breaks, all the way through, and we're done. So the exercises are floor kicks, lie on your back, lower back, pin to the floor, legs up straight, little kicks over back. If we struggle, do dead blows. I know dead blows are on hope again, but do dead blows, guys. Any of these exercises that hurt your lower back, don't do. Do a different exercise for your core to you know off the spot. If I don't shout, shout out, find different exercises you feel is going to help your core and, and protect your lower back so you don't cause any pain there. That's the number one thing in this one. Just get sure without pain, everything else is a bonus. Floor kicks, after that 90 degree crunch or so, um, get your knees up, feet, tabletop position, and uh, reach up towards the ankles, up and down, going for 90 seconds. If you struggle with that, have the feet in the ground, hands by thighs, reach up over your knees. After that, we're going to do figure four leg raises. This is going to be fun. So pretty much imagine a leg raise and where you have two feet together going up and down. Only difference this time is you're going to make an eight. What do they call it? Figure four. Figure eight. Wrestling. <laughs> figure eight. Um, so you're making an eight over a mag with your legs. Keep that going. We'll keep that bad in the video. Um, after that, guys, a side plank dip with a reach. So side plank and uh, hips down, up, reach through, right back up. We're going to keep that going. We're going for 15 seconds on each side in that one. Um, yeah, 15 seconds each side. After that, the swimmers lying down on our stomach, hands and legs out in front. Um, well, arms will be out in front one way, legs the other way. And opposite arm and leg slowly up and down for 30 seconds. Just feel it in your lower back, but we don't want to go too fast in this one. And the last one, what well, I mentioned already, is, is dead bugs. Going for dead bugs instead of our floor kicks. Um, sorry, go for dead bugs anyway. And then we're right back to floor kicks. We struggle. We just got to keep going with dead bugs then for a minute instead. So hopefully there's no issue with any of those exercises. Um, if there is, hopefully it gave you something there to give you a different vari vari variation of exercise. As we're going through it, I try and keep sharing with other things that you guys can do as well. Uh, or easier variations, expect myself if I'm crying or paying my abs, because I could. I haven't done this in a long, long time, this particular program. So uh, we'll see how it goes. So on the ground. Flutter kicks, 30 seconds. I'm just getting that mat out a little bit for me. Figure eight, leg raises coming up. Okay, floor kicks. Starting three, two, one. We've got six minutes left. Just little kicks over mat. Make sure it's all coming with my core. I naturally put my hands underneath my hips here. Just give extra support for my lower back. My head is up off the ground. Not to contract my core once again. Keep that lower back pinned down to the ground, but it's completely up to you what you do. If you can lie down, hands out to the side, I have no issue your lower back. Keep this going. Your lower back still drilling to the floor. Keep that going. Three, two, one. Knees up, 90, posi 90 degree position. Reach up towards the ankles, up and down. Once again, if you struggle here, feet down, up towards the knees. Otherwise, ankles from here. Now try and Bring yourself up from your stomach. Don't just swing from your head. That's going to cause issues with your neck. So try and let your stomach do all the work here. Crunch it in until get those shoulder blades up off the ground. Three, two, one. Figure eight next. So leg raise is easier for variation. Otherwise, make it an eight. So basically circles on the other side. So basically moving around that core here. Keep it going. And switch it up again. I'm going to swim right next to it. No, side plank, dip and reach. So side plank, dip, reach through, dip, reach through, dip, reach through. Get one more in. Reach through, over opposite side, same thing. Dip, 
reach through, dip, and that's it guys, keep it going, and down to our swimmers, down to all fours, sorry on the ground, breathing now, up to arm and leg, slowly up and down guys, keep this one slow, bit of glute work here by keeping that leg straight, bring up as high as we can, if our hip flexor are tight, this one could be very difficult. Do what we can, guys. If it was too difficult, try and do just the legs or the arms. Okay, switch up again, dead books. Lower back, pin to the ground, deep breath in. Breathe out, kick that leg and arm away. Over and back. Good. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Okay, back into our floater kicks again. Over, Mac. We're halfway there. We've got three more minutes, then we're done. Keep it going. Last couple of seconds. And time, knees up, reach up towards the ankles. Oh, this is fun. Keep this going, guys. Less than 10 seconds, keep going. And time, switch back over into those figure eight leg raises. Keep it going guys, over and back, over and back. 10 more seconds. I've got three exercises left. And side plank dip, straight into it. You haven't got much time on these. If you struggle with one, just stick with the rotation or just stick with the dips. Or just hold it out. And switch. Same thing. Okay, and back over again into our swimmers. Good, keep it going. Last 10 seconds, guys. Keep going, keep going. And time, switch back over. Dead bugs, last one. Keep it going, last 10 seconds. Alright, good. Okay, good work guys. Great job there. Just got a quick trick of work for myself. So there's that six minute ab blast there. And look, you can make that harder. You can stick with those exercises, do them in your own time, whatever, without following along the video. And if you're like, I need to make them harder, just simply add on time. Build up to so your one minute of each exercise. So maybe next time, stick with 30 seconds, next time go 40 seconds of everything, or 45 seconds of everything, and build up. I mean, building up to getting one minute of all those exercises without missing a rep and getting at least one full round in. And if not two, fantastic. And you probably don't need to do any more than abs, apart from that, those 10 to 12 minutes of just concentrated core workout uh, will, will get you through 
and uh, Tyler Adams said there's no point in spending any longer than that really on it and uh, when you could work on other things uh, like different upper body, lower body exercises different things like that so great job in that ab session now that wasn't a hard video to get through now was it? I hope you guys got some value out of the video if you did please give a thumbs up and subscribe to Coach Shot channel which is somewhere here and um, hit that button subscribe to Coach Shot channel leave a thumbs up there should be a couple of other videos around here for you guys to check out and that's all from me from Coach Shot